famous article by Mark Andreessen in the Wall Street Journal proclaimed that software was eating the world. And he was observing that companies that had a facility to use software to drive value in their business were overtaking those who couldn't, right? Netflix overtaking the traditional TV companies and, and things like that. Uber starting to uh, overtake the traditional taxi industry. And so software can only eat the world if more of it is increasingly made out of data. And that's the point. Increasing digitization means those who understand how to deploy software in a constructive sense in the creation of new business and business value are the ones who win. Understanding data is fundamental to business today. And the reason is we live in a world that is increasingly digitized. The methods of dealing with our customers, of creating our products, of dealing with government, everything is now tractable by software. That means if we can understand the traces of the software working, which is the data flowing through our organizations, and leverage that in support of our business, we're going to get ahead of everybody else. That's the reason that the Silicon Valley startups are frightening everyone, because they have a machine that enables them to understand the data of their market, their customers, their competition, and innovate on top of that understanding and move quicker than anybody else can. So when you work with data in support of innovation, it's a very different kind of IT than a lot of what we already have. Much of IT in the previous decade has been about back office, faster processes, well understood things that need locking down, that need to be bulletproof, that are production critical. That's not the same kind of technology that you need to start exploring and experimenting where you don't know the outcome, where you can't make two year projects with determined milestones, but instead you have to be agile and iterate. So businesses have the challenge of seeing IT in two different ways and very often one of the ways they're meeting that is by creating a chief data officer post who then has this remit, this mandate to use data in constructive and innovative ways without having conflict with the stable parts of the business. Experimentation is very important to business. In a sense, you know, the marketplace is a large running experiment where the people who get it right win and, and those who pursue failing experiments lose. But now all that becomes tractable by data. We don't actually need to play it all out in the marketplace to know whether we can win. We can look at the data, do predictive analytics. We can start to understand and build things out of data that enable us to win and go faster. And the way we do this is via experimentation. We need to make sure that the avenues we try are cheap when we fail. We don't want it to be existential for the business. We want to understand how to move quickly and learn and adapt and use software and use the fact that so much is available to us in digital form to explore the market and explore opportunities that are available to us. That's why understanding experimentation is important. And that actually has two consequences. At a technical level, we need to use the new breed of technologies that enable us to move quickly and cheaply. But at an organizational level, we need to embrace and understand that's what we're doing. Experiments need to be cheap politically as well as technologically. For a treasurer to become data native, the first thing they need to do is really understand the capabilities of the technology that they've got right now. And that means getting close to the technologists, understand their world a bit more, have them understand the world you're in, and they can point out to you the capabilities, the things they could do with that data if they had access to it. So it's really, you know, like an artist doesn't paint without understanding the texture of the brush and the paint. As a business now, we can't move without understanding the capabilities of the data and the possibilities that there are out there. So the first thing is getting informed and then making friends with the technologists.